Well, hello everybody and how do you do? Albert Einstein said, if you want a child to be smart, tell him fairy tales. If you want him to be really brilliant, tell him more fairy tales. This is a flexible program that families use in different ways, but the ultimate goal is to provide you with the support and tools you need to homeschool in the way that best suits your child. To really find the home in the world. I think it's the best education and I'm really honored to be a part of it. It's a very well known and documented how the seven year cycle affects the development of a child. And teaching virtually actually creates a type of intimacy not possible in other settings. We invite you to join us on this wonderful journey. Birth through age four is a rapid period of growth and development in the young child. I want to support you as you go through this journey with your child. Life is the curriculum. Play is the curriculum. Kindergarten is such a lovely and special age. It's the age of imagination and play and imitating adults, but it's also just starting to cross that bridge over into the academic work. First grade is such a magical year in your child's educational journey. They've crossed over that rainbow bridge from early childhood and they are eager and ready to learn. From those straight and curved lines comes everything else. What I love about the garden is that when you look at the, the little plot of land, you see the dirt, you can also see the potential, and you can help to realize that potential. Watch the plants grow, watch them develop, watch them bear fruit, and so it is in a classroom with the children, each one fulfilling their potential. We have a fun Waldorf-inspired adventure ahead of us. An adventure in learning and creating through stories, outdoor explorations, painting, drawing, cooking, building, helping others, being of service, and spending time with all of the life around us. This is the year of epic Norse myths, Thor, Odin, Loki, Yggdrasil. The way, this way of learning, open hearts, gentle hands, clear thoughts, and compassionate kind deeds inspires me every single day, and I love sharing it with others. What has amazed me most about this program is the relationships that develop. Yes, virtually, yes, through the screens. I get to know each student. They become familiar with me and my teaching style. They become friends with each other. As your young person begins to go deeper and deeper into their own inner world, so the curriculum takes them into the far reaches of the big wide world. Here, they will meet wise astronomers, beautiful artists, brave explorers, all reformers. Their thinking will be challenged in new ways, new and wonderful ways. We have 20 years of all of experience. You know, the great egg child is full of ideals, opinions, hopes and dreams. And it is the task of the parent and the teacher to assist the children to become much more familiar with being in the world. The math curriculum in the Waldorf School really places an emphasis on developing mathematical thinking and on expanding your view of the world. The capacity to think 
the capacity to observe, the capacity to weigh the pros and cons. These are the people who are going to finish their education and go on to become citizens of the world. So everything that we teach has to be viewed through that lens. The children are asking this question, why am I learning this? We will calculate the specific heat capacity of certain materials. Well, singing together is extraordinarily important, and so is dancing together. Fox's friend, Rabbit. We've got our B, our A, our G. Music notation. rhythmic inspired movement classes for seasons of seven virtual school. These types of movements that we will learn in this class are important for children of all ages from kindergarten all the way through high school which will benefit them into their adulthood classes. The gestures and forms we move are done in a way that brings the physical and spiritual bodies together. My love for handwork began at a very young age when my grandmother taught me how to knit and crochet and ever since then I have been very passionate about creating with my hands, whether it be making a gift for somebody or making something that I need for my home. In my classes, these students will learn to make items that are both practical and beautiful, while also developing patience and appreciation for the time that it takes to create handmade items. Chers amis, bonjour. Bonjour, mes élèves. So what we were able to accomplish this year um, that we would not have been able to had we gone back to our brick and mortar school um, is, gosh, so many things beyond measure. Um, what some of the things I think about is just accomplishing a rhythm that felt right for our family and our schedules, as well as um, the growing and developing teenagers that I have. <laughs> Um, but one thing that I really feel like we were able to accomplish was understanding a rhythm that worked well to flourish and thrive, um, as well as going deep into the studies uh, that were brought to us by such thoughtful and caring and loving teachers um, in a way where our kids could dive deep and take the time that they needed to really honor their work and see value in it. Um, Another thing that we were able to do is have connected family time where we could intertwine our road trips and little things that we did on the weekend um, with our school studies because as parents in this journey with homeschooling, with the support of amazing teachers, uh, we really have a great grasp of what they're learning and how to weave it into um, kind of everyday life that the curriculum works is um, it makes it so easy to do that as it connects with the season but also for each kiddo is developing and I don't think we would have been able to do that at all at the brick and with a brick and mortar program or maybe so but not to the depth that we were able to do with um, the way that we're doing it now.